everyone. Your 2025 AQA GCSE predicted papers for physics are finally here. We've analysed past papers, examiner reports and trends to create the most detailed, high quality predicted papers to help you with your revision. With our papers, you'll get everything you need to prepare for the exam day. That's exam style questions covering key topics, mark schemes to check your answers and for the first time, free video walkthroughs that show you exactly how to structure your responses for full marks. Everything is in one place, ready for you to go and download and start revising. So before we get started, remember that exams are important, but so is your mental health. Take breaks, get some fresh air, and don't be too hard on yourself. Our goal is to help you revise smarter, not harder. And if you need that last minute boost, join our nights before exam sessions through our masterclass, where we'll cover key topics, exam strategies, and help calm those nerves. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk you through higher separate, higher combined, foundation separate and then foundation combined. So be sure to use the timestamps for your specific exam predictions. My final thing as always is please do remember these are just our predictions. We look at everything we can to make them as accurate as possible, but you should use these to guide your revision. Don't ignore other areas of the specification is what I'm saying. Now, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have separate science for higher students. Now, here are the things we think you should brush upon, and it goes quite quickly. So first up, the structure of the atom. You need to know that atoms consist of a nucleus containing protons and neutrons, surrounded by electrons in energy levels. Protons have a charge of plus one and a mass of one. Neutrons have no charge and a mass of one. And then electrons have a charge of minus one and a tiny mass, essentially zero. Most of an atom's mass is in the nucleus, but the electrons take up most of the space. Now, secondly, you should also be confident with isotopes. These are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. And don't forget ions. These are atoms that have gained or lost electrons to become charged. Now, next, moving on to energy, you need to be able to identify different ways energy is stored. Kinetic energy is energy in moving objects. Gravitational potential energy is stored in objects at height. Elastic potential energy is stored in stretched or compressed objects and thermal energy relates to heat. Now for four, you also need to know the equation for specific heat capacity, which tells us how much energy is needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree C. That's energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. And of course, make sure you know the units, joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Now for five, we have electricity and circuits. And in series circuits, current is the same everywhere, but voltage is shared. And then in parallel circuits, voltage is the same across each branch, but current is shared. Six, resistance is another key idea you should brush up on. It's measured in ohms and increases with longer wires, thinner wires, or higher temperatures. For seven, we have charge, current, and potential difference. Charge is measured in coulombs. Current is measured in amps and potential difference is measured in volts. Brush upon the equation, charge equals current times time. We then have the national grid and electricity supply. The national grid transfers electricity from power stations to homes. It uses step up transformers to increase voltage, reducing energy loss over long distances and step down transformers to decrease voltage before electricity reaches homes. For 10, revise gas particles and pressure. Heating gas particles increases their kinetic energy, increasing pressure. Increasing volume decreases pressure, that's Boyle's law. And then 11, we have the particle model and changes of state. Be aware of the changes of state between solids, liquids and gases, and that energy is used during melting and boiling. For 12, density is another key calculation, being density equals mass divided by volume, so make sure you're cool with that. For 13, renewable and non-renewable electricity generation. Renewable sources include solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and biomass and non-renewable sources include fossil fuels and nuclear power. 14 is nuclear fuel and radiation. You should know that nuclear fuel like uranium is used in power stations and you should know the three types of radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. 15 is half-life and radioactive decay and that is the time taken for half of a radioactive sample to decay. Finally, static electricity is another key topic and it builds up due to friction, causing objects to gain or lose electrons. Opposite charges attract and like charges repel, so make sure you are cool with that too. Now those are our separate predictions. Remember, if you need extra support, our 2025 predicted papers are available to download now. 
Plus, we'll be running our night before exam sessions to give you one last confidence boost before the big day. Let's now move on to higher combined. We'll jump straight into it. Just don't forget, you'll get more precise practice of these topics with our papers and free walkthroughs. But let's get into it. So first up, you want to look into the structure of atoms. Atoms are made up of protons found in the nucleus. They have a plus one charge and a mass of one. Neutrons, which are also in the nucleus, they have no charge and a mass of one. And electrons, these orbit the nucleus, have a minus one charge and a mass so tiny we can consider it zero. Now, two, look at isotopes and ions. Isotopes are atoms of the same element but with different numbers of neutrons, like carbon-12 and carbon-14. And then ions form when atoms gain or lose electrons, making them charged. For three, energy transfers and energy stores. Energy can't be created or destroyed. It just transfers between different stores, including kinetic energy, energy in moving objects, gravitational potential energy, that's energy stored in objects at height, and then elast uh, elastic potential energy, which is energy stored in stretched or compressed objects like springs or rubber bands. Now for next, we have specific heat capacity. This tells us how much energy is needed to heat up one kilogram of substance by one degree C. The equation to remember is energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. And of course, make sure you know the units, joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Now next for five, we have series and parallel circuits. In series circuits, the current stays the same everywhere, but voltage is shared between components. In parallel circuits, voltage stays the same across each branch, but current is split. For six, brush up on resistance. Resistance slows down the flow of current in a circuit. It increases with longer wires, thinner wires, and higher temperatures. The equation to remember here is voltage equals current times resistance. For seven, we have charge, current, and potential difference. Charge is measured in coulombs. Current is measured in amps. And potential difference is measured in volts. And the equation here to learn is charge equals current times time. Next, brush upon the national grid. The national grid delivers electricity from power stations to homes and businesses. It uses step-up transformers to increase voltage for efficient long-distance transmission, and step-down transformers lower the voltage to safe levels before it reaches homes. Number 10 is renewable and non-renewable electricity. Renewable sources include solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, and biomass, while non-renewable sources include fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas, and nuclear power. Number 11 is radiation. There are three types of nuclear radiation. That's alpha, stopped by paper. It's the most ionizing but least penetrating. We have beta, which is stopped by aluminium and has both moderate ionization and penetration. And then gamma, which is stopped by thick lead. It's the least ionizing but most penetrating. Now finally, we've got number 12, revise half-life and radioactive decay. Short and sweet here, but half-life is the time it takes for half of a radioactive substance to decay. So just make sure you're cool with that. Okay, so those are our higher combined predictions. Don't forget that if you need extra support, our papers will help solidify these areas. Plus, we'll be running our night before exam sessions where you'll get some really useful last minute support. Now, next up, we have our foundation separate predictions for 2025. Let's go through some of the key topics we've predicted for your GCSE physics exam. We'll keep it simple and clear, but do make sure to go brush up using our revision videos and tools. Now, first up, make sure to revise the structure of the atom. Atoms are the building blocks of everything, and they are made up of three key particles. It's protons found in the nucleus with a plus one charge. Neutrons, also found in the nucleus, but with no charge, and electrons, which move around the nucleus and have a minus one charge. Now, next we have isotopes and ions. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. For example, carbon-12 and carbon-14 are both carbon atoms, but they have different masses. Ions are atoms that gain or lose electrons, making them charged. We then have energy transfers and energy stores. Energy can't be created or destroyed, it just moves between different stores, such as kinetic energy, moving objects, gravitational potential energy, energy stored when something is lifted up, and elastic potential energy, energy stored in stretched or squashed objects. For number four, revise specific heat capacity. This tells us how much energy is needed to heat up a one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. The equation is energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. Make sure you learn the units, joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. For number five, revise series and parallel circuits. 
In series circuits, the current stays the same through all components, but voltage is shared. And in parallel circuits, the voltage stays the same across each branch, but the current is shared. Next, we have resistance and circuit symbols. Resistance opposes the flow of a current in a circuit and is measured in ohms. Resistance increases with longer wires, thinner wires and higher temperatures. Number seven is charge, current and potential difference. Charge is measured in coulombs, current is measured in amps and potential difference is measured in volts. Do also brush up on the national grid. The national grid delivers electricity from power stations to homes. Know that here step up transformers increase voltage for efficient transmission and step down transformers reduce voltage so it's safe for homes. Revise particle model and changes of state too. Solids, liquids and gases change states when they gain or lose energy. Melting turns solids into liquids, boiling turns liquids into gases, condensing turns gases into liquids, whilst freezing turns liquids into solids. We then have renewable and non-renewable electricity generation. Renewable sources include solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and biomass, whilst non-renewable sources are fossil fuels being coal, oil and gas and nuclear power. 412, nearly there, explore nuclear fuel and radiation. Nuclear fuel, such as uranium, is used in power stations and know that there are three types of radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. Finally, revise static electricity. Static charge builds up due to friction and here opposite charges attract and like charges repel. That's it for the quick breakdown of key topics for separate foundation. Keep revising, use our predicted paper questions to test yourself and absolutely prioritise the areas you find tricky. Now our final predictions are for foundation combined. As always, be sure to balance your revision of these topics with rest to look after your mental health. It's a really busy time and it's important that you balance all that effort with some downtime. So onto the topics. First up, we have the structure of the atom. Atoms are made up of three key particles. That's protons found in the nucleus with a plus one charge, neutrons also in the nucleus with no charge and electrons which move around the nucleus with a minus one charge. Next, revise isotopes and ions. Isotopes are atoms of the same element but with different numbers of neutrons. So for example, carbon 12 and carbon 14. Ions form when atoms gain or lose electrons, giving them a positive or negative charge. Revise energy transfers and energy stores. Energy cannot be uh, created or destroyed. It just moves between different stores, such as kinetic energy, moving objects, gravitational potential energy, objects at height, and elastic potential energy, stretched or squashed objects. Number four, revise specific heat capacity. This tells us how much energy is needed to heat up one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Make sure you learn the units joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. For number five, we have series and parallel circuits. In series circuits, current stays the same, but voltage is shared between components. And in parallel circuits, voltage stays the same across each branch, but current is split. Next, brush up on resistance. Resistance slows down the flow of current in a circuit. It increases with longer wires, thinner wires, and higher temperatures. Also, revise charge, current, and potential difference too. Charge is measured in coulombs. Current is measured in amps and potential difference is measured in volts. Be sure to brush up on gravitational and kinetic energy too. Kinetic energy is the energy of a moving object. Gravitational potential energy is the energy stored when an object is lifted. Then for 10, revise the national grid. The national grid delivers electricity from power stations to homes, so just be sure to brush up on that. Moving on to 11 is renewable and non-renewable electricity generation. Renewable sources being solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and biomass and non-renewable sources being fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas and then nuclear power. Nearly there we have radiation. There are three types of radiation. Alpha stopped by paper, most ionising but least penetrating. Beta which is stopped by aluminium, moderate ionisation and penetration. And gamma, this is stopped by thick lead, the least ionising but most penetrating. The final prediction from us is half-life and radioactive decay. Half-life is the time it takes for half of a radioactive sample to decay. So those are our AQA physics predictions for 2025 for both higher and foundation. We really hope they are useful starting points for your revision. Don't forget to check out our masterclasses on the Academy for lots of useful content, weekly live tutoring, and of course, our amazing predictive papers and walkthroughs. Good luck.